guys welcome back to our youtube channel and what we are doing today basically some of our customer when they are willing to buy the ip stuff from us they don't have enough budget to buy the you know whole system and one of my customer asked me can they install any high look camera or equation camera stand alone and what about the recording so we are going to show you how you can install an ip camera stand alone and in terms of recording you need a micro sd card so only this model currently at the moment Hikvision has Hilux has because Hilux is part of Hikvision where you can install the micro SD card and then you have a recording so let's see we'll open this camera now so we'll show you where the micro SD card slot this is the model number of the camera okay let's see what comes inside the box okay, we'll open the box okay it has the template drill template Okay, and the back plate. Okay, back plate. And these are the you know bits and pieces to make it waterproof. waterproof. Okay, Let's and go. this is screws. Now the camera here. So let me show you where is the micro SD card slot where you can insert the card. This is okay. Color the camera has okay here. Here is the micro SD card slot as well and also you can reset the camera it has a reset button here uh, okay so we're going to insert the uh, micro SD card here and then I'll join you soon show you how you can activate this camera okay guys here we just open this one and you can see the reset button here you can press for like a 15 20 second then the camera reset itself and reset the password okay here's a micro SD card slot so we are going to insert the micro SD card here now okay okay once we insert the micro sd card then i'll show you how we can uh, activate the camera via scdp tool okay guys that's all for the time being we'll join you soon hi guys welcome back now we have connected our high look 8 megapixel color view camera to our poe switch because camera needs a power so it's powered by poe switch now we are using SADP tool. Uh, now you can see on SADP tool we have a one camera showing inactive. Just to let you know about the SADP tool, uh, we have made I think few videos about this SADP tool on our YouTube channel. If you want to know about the SADP tool, how it works, you can see our YouTube channel. Okay, we'll send the link below as well. Okay, now we are going to activate the camera. As you can see, uh, we have one camera which is showing inactive, and you can see the uh, IP address of the camera as well just to let you know about this so what we are going to do we have other devices equation look at the IP range our IP range is 10.4.4 but the camera has the IP range 192.168.164 okay now we are going to activate this camera so as you can see right side is so the device is not activated so we need to put a new password to activate the device so we are going to put a new password now to activate the device So we are using SADP tool. So confirm the password. Now activate. Just wait. The device is activated. Now you can see the IP address 192.168.1.64. So it will change automatically. Here you will get some security question entirely up to you. But we will cancel it for the time being. Okay. So now we will refresh. Oh, enable the DSCP now. Sorry. So then we put the administrative password, that's the password which we put earlier. So the IP address will change now. Modify. Okay, now we're going to refresh it. Now you will see the IP address. Okay, now look at the range is different now yeah, because camera is now activated. And because we enable the DSCP, so it will take the local IP okay now we're going we are going to the web page of the camera now we click on this ip address then the web page will appear we put the password just an admin username admin and the password which we have put it earlier so now we are going inside the web page of the camera okay as I said mentioned that uh, we have inserted we put the micro SD card inside the camera so we need to format the 
micro SD card even the camera has old micro SD card whatever so make sure you format the micro SD card so how we can do that micro format so we'll go to the okay maintenance and security configuration then it comes the storage option underneath you can see storage management now you can select we have already micro SD card inside even though it's an old one or new one always make sure format the micro SD card if you're starting using a new camera so basically the camera has a SD card it will record the video and audio as well so you can do a playback through this you don't need any NVR or DVR just this standalone camera it will work the good thing about this camera it has a reset button as well in case you forget the password you can press the reset button for like a 15 to 20 second and then it will back to normal so you can put a new password again okay this uh, format might take a couple of minutes so just wait guys for this installation you just need the poe switch and one camera and a micro sd card that's all you need so within a budget if you don't want to spend much money you have a small shop you don't want three four cameras just one camera is more than enough so you can use this camera with the micro SD card okay so formatting please wait so then after that we will do some time setting as well date setting as well then we will show you okay all okay all settings succeeded now we are going to show you the time setting that's very important date and time setting so go to the common setting just as you can see the time setting here okay and then you select the time yeah sitting with your computer you can do as well because you're going to use a cdp tool anyway you are why your computer so you can do like that say and then see the date and time i think as per complete perfectly fine that's everything's good let's now the other setting which is a lot of people complain when they activate the camera hang on this camera has audio why we can't hear the audio only the video coming so i'll show you how you can see the audio how you can hear the audio go to the setting video audio now you go to the mainstream as you can see the video type is only video only that's why you see only video can't hear the audio so you need to select this audio video then make sure save the setting as well and underneath so many things resolution you can see bit rate frame rate whatever you like encoding video encoding whatever but for the time being I, this is more than enough the one we have currently and also yeah you can if you want more you know like a storage record more efficiently then you can do has 264 more compression you know more comp you can uh larger you know recording as well long video recording as well okay if you do that and now go to substream again substream as you can see uh we have a video stream only so you want video audio okay that's and save the setting okay that's all done i think that's a basic time done date done and audio video done that's what you need from a camera and now what we are going to do the main thing again if you want to factory reset the camera how you can do a factory reset let's all the setting done and you want to make it camera again a brand new one so how you can do that we'll show you now go to the maintenance and security here you have a choice uh, under the backup and restore re, uh, restore to default setting restore to factory setting select this one default setting once we do that and then camera back to normal become inactive okay guys now we have a good solution just buy any of these high look camera we have given you the model number already on our description and then the micro sd card so you don't need to buy nvr dvr job done okay guys thanks for watching our video if you have any questions or anything else please feel free to email us or you can contact the numbers are below thank you guys thanks bye